My name is Josh Bain. I'm a chocolate maker based in Margaret River. We make stone ground chocolate from bean to bar. The Bain & Co chocolate, number one, is flavour and we don't really care about anything else. Chocolate 100 years ago was a lot less bitter, particularly the last 30 years with the hybridisation of all the cocoa. They focused on yield and disease resistance. They didn't use flavour at all in, their, in, in that process. So now we, we look for those heirloom genetics, bring them here, and then we're starting to get all the fruitiness in the chocolate back. So people can approach dark chocolate in a way that they may have not even tasted before. I think with these old machines, we actually can produce a chocolate product that astonishes people. Every step we use in the process, we make sure it preserves the integrity of the bean. And without these machines, we couldn't do it. They are hard to source, hard to service, but on their day when, they're, when the machines are singing and they're doing their thing, they're making the best chocolate. In Margaret River now, you can see a new level of competitiveness amongst the, the grape growers, or the, um, the beef producers, or the coffee roasters. They all want their product to be number one. The new young players on the block in Margaret River who are really driving in some passion and some new techniques into how, how foods are processed. And I think it's a very healthy competition because in the end, the consumer wins. And I think with food, there's, it's, it's got 100% honesty because the consumer, once it puts a product in their mouth, they know immediately there's nowhere to hide, that there's no excuses, there's just pure integrity in the taste. If you scratch the surface and start looking in, there's, there's so much work that can be done to bring back what the industry used to have. Chocolate, that is how it used to be.